Hey guys, are you still an RGB fan? Well, this video is for you. Join me for another quick review of the dual signal output SP601E LED controller here on Scrappy Stackware. Okay, let's begin. This is the box and you'll see it has the QR code to download the Cinex app for Android and Apple. Let's see what's inside. Here's the controller and the controller itself has buttons to turn it on, change the mood and its speed. It has two channels to connect your RGB strips, the remote control with the battery included. The remote has nine predefined modes, rainbow, full color, twinkle stars, twinkle stars, fire, stacking, comet, wave, chasing, and red, blue, white. It has brightness control, speed control, lock, and power button. It also came with a manual. It also has a built-in mic. You can also find the QR code on the controller itself to download the app, Cinex for Android and Apple. Alright, those are what's in the box. We need to buy separate items to make this controller work. A 5.5 by 2.1 millimeter USB power plug and a 5 volt 2 ampere phone charger that you can use to power on the controller. The SP601E can handle 5 volts to 24 volts of power, similar to SP108E controller, and that depends on what the LED strip you will use requires you. In my case, I'm going to use a 5 volt ARGB strip. You may also click on the info link on the right corner of this video to know more about the SP108E controller I reviewed previously. I'll be using a 5 volt ARGB LED strips that is already using a 3 pin JST connector since the controller is only using that type of connector. If you have a different connector type, you might want to watch my previous video to know how you can convert it to a 3 pin JST connector. I'll put the link in the description box below. Now we're ready to test the product. Here I am plugging it in using a phone charger. If you have an extension with built in USB port, you may also use that as long as it's 5 volts. Now here's a guide on how to install and set up the app via phone. Take note that this controller has a total of 40 different modes which can only be accessed via its SceneX app. Download and install the app via App Store or Google Play. After the installation, launch the app to start connecting to the controller via Bluetooth. At this moment, Bluetooth is on and I'm ready to pair it with the controller. Once connected, it will allow you to access each channel and set them up according to the mode you'd like. Since you have two channels, you can have different modes accordingly. You can turn off one of the channels as well. The controller has 24 non-music effects and there are over 16 music effects. Music effects are possible because the controller itself has a built-in mic to detect sound. May it be music, video, or noises around your place. The LED will react based on what it can hear. It's awesome to place it near a TV or sound system. In this video, I'm using my hands and fingers to produce a sound to help the controller react on the sound I'm making. Alright, it's time for a quick demo using the music effects of the controller. So 
there you have it guys. Um, I have been using this product for about a month now and a few things that I like about the controller is it responds quickly. You can have two different effects um, since it's using a dual channel signal and it has a built-in mic. What I don't like about the product is since it's Bluetooth, um, this cannot be accessed through any uh, smart assistants. And what I have noticed, um, it intermittently freezes, especially when the brightness is set too high. So I suggest that you set the brightness at the middle range. And I also noticed that it freezes intermittently, um, especially when using a certain effects that displays a white color uh, LED light. But overall, I'll give it a thumbs up. Okay, so thanks for watching guys. And remember to hit like, share, and subscribe. And see you on the next video.